Okay, so we're coming back a little time later. As you can see, the numbers went all the way down to 39. So if I scroll up, time I had on pause and waiting for the system to run some numbers. This is what the number looks like. So we're going to go back to the pump and take a look here quickly. So 39. No insulin on board. You can see the clock has advanced. So how much time we actually were on pause to just let the number run. And here is continuous reading. So we're going to go on pause again and let the number go back up again. So at this point, the patient will probably drink some juice and get some sugar coming in and now we're going to see the number go up okay to continue on a little bit later and let's see what we got now we see the numbers are going up and what we see here is 53 just came in and 53 so we're gonna wait till number will go up and then we'll see how the pump will actually react to it we'll be back in a little time okay so we got some development here we see that the numbers gone up to 135 going back up from where it was so you see the number has just been going upward from the 39 you remember so now it's 136 and we'll go back to pump and it's 135 so the ISF was 38 now you see the pump did a 0.7 insulin dosing. So that's how the closed loop basically works. So we're going to monitor this as the number goes up. We got 136 here. So we'll come back in a little time. So we see still a lot of 136 coming through and pumps still remain the same. And we're going to monitor this as the number goes up and see what will transpire next and how we're going to stack up IOB basically. Okay, we'll give it some time. Okay, so now we're going to visit and see what we had here, what's going on. So we see the range of data. So 136, a lot of 136. number has been bouncing back and forth so the last one seems to be 131 and here we have 129 and still IOB is 0.7 134 came in and here's 134 so you see the loop is still active and is looking at the numbers so it doesn't see any reason to give more because this is still within the limits so we're just gonna watch continue watching the loop 
see how it would go to spot. There you go. Wow, that was amazing. As we were watching, it gave us 0.5. Amazing timing. We just saw 0.5. The loop added insulin. That's because 137 and your limit is at 90. So your ISF is 38 and that adds up to almost 1.2. So this was pretty good actually. I was just saw a comment right about timing when we turned the camera on. So we're gonna continue watching.